Aloha friends. I am doing this short uh, video today to show you how you can utilize Google uh, Sites for your final projects. I'm getting some questions and some concerns for folks, so uh, I thought maybe going through this might be helpful. If you are using Google Sites for your final project, there's a lot of different things you can have you can do, but I'm going to go through some um, possible things you can do in order to give you an idea. How you structure your project is up to you, uh, but you want to take your audience on some kind of journey. And so you want to keep that in mind as you are uh, creating your project. So the first thing you have to do is select your audience. And uh, what you want to do is you want to select it so that anybody can see it, so anybody can find and view on the internet. Uh, you don't want anybody to edit it but you, so you just want to make sure that specific people are off. And for published, you want to make sure that anyone can find and view the published version. That's this one right here. Okay and uh, make sure that you're the owner, and that's it, and then select Done. Now, your site will not be live until you publish it, so that's key. So, uh, Google Sites are, are pretty, uh, pretty easy to utilize. The first thing I would do is to go to Themes. You don't have a lot of themes, but it does give you uh, different, you know, different themes with different uh, opportunities. So like Aristotle, you have these series of colors and you have fonts that you can uh, choose from. The same things with this is a simple site. This would be the Aristotle site, Diplomat, right there, Vision, Level, and Impression. Okay, so you can choose whichever one you want. Uh, I would choose whatever site has the color scheme you like the best, you know. I really like the Aristotle color scheme myself. You should use whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to use the classic font because I, I like that. You can see if you do this, it will change your text there. Modern. There you go. Classic. All right. A little bit of my uh, dyslexia coming out there for you. Okay, so uh, first you're going to want to do is you want to give a title to your site and you enter your site name, so my project. Of course you want to name your project, so uh, if you're doing it about a trip, you could say, you know, uh, the voyage to somewhere, I don't know, whatever you want to do, but don't just do your project, don't just do your name, give a, just like you would give a title to a paper, you need to give a title to your site. You might want to add a logo uh, or select an image. You can upload images here, uh, but you can also find images on the internet and paste the URL there, okay? All right, so when you want to add elements to your pages, you want to go to the insert area. Insert allows you to uh, add dividers. Uh, you can see different components here that you can add. Text box, images, you can upload stuff, you can embed stuff. So like if you're at Google, uh, I'm sorry, if you're at YouTube, uh, all right, there we go again, <laughs> you're at YouTube and you find a video that you like, let's just look at the volcano. There we go. Uh, you can share this, and if you share it, you'll see you get different opportunities. You can get a URL, you can share it via social network, but what you'd want is the embed code, which is right here. You uh, just double click it, and I do control C to copy, but you can do like a right click and you have the opportunity to copy the link like that and you could go to your project and you can embed something and uh, you can take the embed code there paste it on there for yourself and you'll see that it pulls it up and then you can insert that so you can do that for videos um, and you can widen it to make sure that it's right and once you have this here 
right? You can do different things. So this allows you to change your background, to create extra images, to give uh, emphasis on different aspects. Uh, when you click on this, you can, uh, you can add stuff to it if you need to. Uh, and then the next section I could put text in. I'd put a text box there, and this is... There you go. And you could do whatever, okay? So uh, that's one thing you can do. Now, the other thing uh, is you can insert pages into this document, right? So you're probably, you, you start with your home page, which would be this one. But then you can add other pages by clicking down here and click new page. Or you could add just a link. So if I wanted to add a link to, let's say, um, uh, let me go to Facebook real quick. And I'm going to go to Lava News. This is where I'm getting most of the news about the volcano on the island. I can grab this link. I can go back to my page. And you can put a link in, just like that. Say done. And this adds an extra page, uh, creates a link. You can uh, change your properties here. Uh, and you can say where it goes. As you can see, this has come up here on the top. So if I click on this now, this will take me right to Lava News. Or it should have. Oh, yeah. And there we go. All right, so if you want to add a page, Uh, when you add a page, by the way, um, you want to give it short names because as you notice here, if I put this name here, it's going to pop up here, right? So if you have really long titles, uh, it's going to take up a lot of room, a lot of fast. The advanced tab allows you to create a custom path, but you're probably not going to need that, okay? So give it a name. There you go. And now we have... Uh, a new page called before and for me if I was and I'm going to be making a project along with you guys I'll probably be using uh, Google Sites as well uh, I could put in information here now text box our home before the Okay, and I could put that in and I could add pictures or whatever here. But what I could also do is add any one of these different Google services. Now, let's say um, I wanted to uh, get do a slide. I could do a slideshow um, and I could add a slideshow here. And uh, for example, I've got a bunch of slideshows I've already made, so let's just put one in that I've already made. So you'd have to make a slideshow first, right? And then um, you could go down to uh, one of the, I kind of write an essay, we'll just pop this baby in. I could write down this one, let's say this is the one I want to use, I can insert it. And then uh, the slideshow would populate in here so that somebody will be able to see it. and do the slideshow. So you could insert pictures here. You can uh, do all sorts of things if you want, but this gives you an opportunity. Now, I could also like um, do a form, exact a form as well, getting somebody's opinion of my website if I wanted to. I could collect data and information this way. Uh, if I had a spreadsheet I wanted to add, I could add that. I could write a little bit of a document and I could add that. So charts are, are really kind of a cool thing here. Um, so let's see, here's my workouts. <laughs> You'll see how well or bad I've been doing. I haven't done anything this week. But you can see these are the different charts that my workouts are um, doing. And so like for example, I could make a Google Sheet charts. I could make a Google Sheet and I could put in data if I wanted to in that Google Sheet about um, 
the different information about the volcano and how many um, earthquakes have been going on. So it's, you know, started out with uh, over 200 earthquakes a day, then it went to, I think, 160 and so on and so forth. And I could do a graph that shows you how all the earthquakes do. So if you're using Google Sites, utilize all of the Google Drive opportunities to make your site interactive and also, also multimedia, okay? Because it will, it will do you good, it'll do you good to do so. Now, when we talked about the format of the story, um, let me go back to the pages. I'm going to get rid of Lava News, or I'm going to move it, actually, move it down. And you just grab, you just grab these things and move them around. So, and you'll see it will um, change the order up here. So I could have a, a page that says before, during, after, and then resources. So this could tell us a story. So I could start the story here for my readers and uh, tell the story about when I got the house, for example, and what it looked like. And uh, then I could have a link at the bottom of here. Go to insert. And I could do a divider line there, and then a text, go to the next. Uh, kind of put in an arrow or something like that. Highlight it, get a link, and I could say, okay, I want to go to... Uh, which page am I on? I'm on home, so I should have during. Where is during? Uh, oh, this is home, so I'd go to before. There you go, and I apply that. And so now I have a link that goes to the next part of my story. And this will take me to the next page. So you can direct your viewers or your readers to uh, see uh, the dip, go to the different pages like this. So have them go through the story here, go through all the story, and then add your and add a link. Uh, during apply, and this will take you to the next page. and so on and so forth. So you see, you can actually lead your reader through uh, your story by having separate pages, and the pages, again, are created in here, and you can easily uh, move them around to whichever way you want. And then you can, like, for example, I'd want my resources here, and I'd want uh, before, during, after, and then Lava News, right? So you can uh, rearrange all of these, and then you can take your reader through each different section. If I wanted to, I could also uh, create a sound, uh, some audio. So let's go to, um, let's say if I wanted to narrate each page, okay? So let's say I created audio using uh, an audio uh, editor, and um, I uploaded it to SoundCloud. I can go to SoundCloud, I can sign in. It's been a while since I've been on here. Sign in. Mm, I think I'm with Facebook, hold on. I'm on, sign in. It's doing its thing. I guess it's been a while since I've signed in there. Okay, so here we are. And um, I have... Um, they've changed mine since I've been in here. Okay. Uh, 
here we go. This will work. So this is a monologue I wrote ages ago, It's uh, but it's private, so let me see. Okay, here's a, a sample of an audio book that I recorded. If I want to share the sample, all I have to do again is grab the link. So let's say I did the SoundCloud, I made my audio, I could copy this link, okay, and uh, or I can embed it right here. All of these are up here. Uh, I can uh, enable audio play, so as soon as you get to the page, it'll start playing. Let's go to my project, um, and let's edit this one. Let's get rid of this, and let's just start it with the audio. And hit next, okay, and I'm going to say save. And so this will play as soon as somebody, uh, because I said autoplay, so this would play as soon as somebody came onto my site, right? So let's say I publish this site, and it's all good. I give it a web address, uh, um, uh, Lava Flow, okay? Uh, who can view my site? I want anyone to view my site. Uh, I, want, uh, I want search engines to find it, so I want to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and publish it now. So now my site is published. I want to view my site, and as soon as I come in to my home, this will start to play because I enabled automatic playing. Although, another step towards the back of the fireplace. And so you can have the page narrated while maybe your reader goes down and sees images or uh, a text version of what you actually say here. So there's uh, that possibility too, and you can narrate each single page, which is something I'm probably going to do for my project because I'm definitely doing a project alongside all of you, uh, see, seeing how I went on this crazy uh, adventure that is still not over. So uh, that's it. I guess that's all I'm going to show you for the moment. But this gives you an idea of the different possibilities you can uh, utilize. There's so many things you can do with this particular uh, application. So I really do want to uh, encourage you to utilize it to its full potential. And let me know if you have any questions. And that's it. Thank you very much and aloha.